Hello and welcome to my video. With Steps being released a few months ago and currently being on sale, I decided to do this video on Top 10 Video Game Sharks. One of my favorite topics. We'll start with number 10, which is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Legend of Zelda, you wouldn't think would have anything really scary or frightening as for it would be for me as a shark, because most of the time you're riding around on your horse and having grand adventures, but at one point you come across the lake professor, or scientist as they call, and he has a pool of water set behind him, and you keep diving in, and every time you dive in he says you need to go deeper and deeper. So when you finally get to the bottom, you find out that he's been messing with you the whole time and he has a pet shark in a cage. Number 9, Crisis. This one is actually quite familiar with people, but um, I actually never played Crisis, I played 2, but uh, <laughs> it's an interesting situation where they have it as a, uh, instead of invisible walls, in that whenever you swim out too far from Lingshan Island, a shark will appear and he will attack you and do major damage. So, yeah. Number 8, Scarface. Whoever thought, say, hello to my little friend, meant a shark. Much like Crisis, if you swim out for too long, Tony will stop and look below him, and suddenly a great white shark comes up and devours him. Sounds like fun to me. Number 7, Guild Wars 2. This is considered a risen shark with a champion rank. Sadly, they are actually part of an event that almost makes you have to face them. Just what we need, an undead shark. And it has to be a megalodon of any of it. Uh, I haven't actually gone through uh, all of Guild Wars, so I haven't personally faced them myself. Number 6, Call of Duty Ghosts. Who would think a military shooter would be on the list for scary as sharks, but I remember playing this game and oddly enough I could do it and didn't have problems, but I got to a scene where the sharks were swimming around me and stupidly I thought, wonder what happens if I shoot one. Well, that's pretty much what I saw and that's pretty much the last time I ever decided to try to go after them. Number five, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Assassin's Creed isn't well known for having any kind of thing like a shark, but Black Flag brought boats and oceans into the gameplay where you know normally I feel bad because as you see here you harpoon these animals but then they attack you which they never really got a hold of me so it wasn't that bad but when you go in the diving bell all of a sudden now you're in the water with them and just trying to do small things like getting chests and stuff now become deadly number four battlefield four Again, a first-person shooter you wouldn't think would have a scary shark in it, but as most people probably know that know the shooter history and everything, they put hidden things in it, and somehow people found out that if you get, I think, 40 people around that buoy that they had there, a giant megalodon shark comes out of the ocean and kills every single one of them. Number three, Interstellar Marines. Now, I love to hate this game just because of the fact that they decided to take something terrifying as a great white shark and give it the ability to walk around on land and attack you as it pleases. It's actually on my wish, li wish list. I haven't played it myself, but just the mere fact that this exists, they're crazy. Number two. Batman Arkham City. Outside of the Adam West Batman where he faces the shark, you wouldn't think that you would find any in Batman. But once you get to Penguin's Lair, you find that the area is all iced over and you saw reports about a shark being in and around but never saw anything about it. But suddenly it gets de-iced and now you have to cross it. And if you mess up, all of a sudden you see this giant shark come out of the water. You can avoid them, you can punch them, as you can see there, but sometimes, if you're not fortunate enough, you'll see this. 
I hate going near that area. Honorable mentions. These are kind of one and the same. Armed and dangerous. This is the shark gun. I believe it's called the land shark gun. And it's basically where you shoot at somebody and a shark comes up out of the earth and attacks them. The next one is Saints Row the Third. Now I actually like this gun because it was fun, but the Sharkomatic, which actually works exactly the same way as the Armed and Dangerous one did, but it's just fun. I guess it's because you're in the Saints Row <laughs> thing that you don't really think about being scary. Number one, Resident Evil. Oh my. I put this game on the number one spot because of Neptune, the sharks that they put in there. You would think zombies would be the worst thing to face, but that's actually not the case. Uh, at one point, you're having to run through the areas and sharks are chasing you, and then you get to the one spot, and as you see there, the shark's trying to crash through the window. You come back out, and there's a great white shark laying there on the uh, catwalk, and you have to walk by it to get what you need to do and I remember playing it on the GameCube and I literally sat the controller down walked around the room about five times and literally just shut it off without even saving but yeah it takes my number one spot because it's one of the few games I've actually had to stop so I hope you enjoyed this uh, top 10 list and let me know in the comments or what have you as to what you would put on the list or what I forgot to put on. Uh, and with that, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did like it, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, be safe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.